In life, it's often important to be at the right place at the right time. Means of transport can help us in this. In the plastics industry, the conveying of material is also incredibly important. In order to work efficiently, material must be at the processing machine when it's needed there. This can be done manually or automatically on a larger scale. But how does the automated conveying of material work? Central suction conveying systems always have the upper hand when lots of different materials need to be distributed to many different machines. This is because the respective logistics can be set up, which can be coupled either manually or automatically. So, central suction conveying systems are the only ones that can be considered when many different materials need to be distributed to a large number of machines. Standalone material loaders are, as the name already suggests, standalone solutions. They're often used when an isolated machine needs to be supplied with material. For standalone material loaders, the sacks are often kept directly next to the processing machine, so the conveying distance to where the material is needed is short. Setup and organization of the conveying lines requires expert knowledge and foresighted planning. What types of conveying are there? Suction conveying gets the material directly from the immediate surroundings because suction conveying creates less vacuum than in the surroundings. This means that it functions the same way as a domestic vacuum for cleaning. For pressure conveying, the granules come from outside and must be channeled into a higher pressure environment. The benefits of automated material conveying are obvious. Labor costs and idling of the machines is minimized. Less dust can enter the air we breathe. With dilute phase conveying, also called thin stream conveying, the particles float through the pipes. The conveyed material is transported with relatively large amounts of air and an airspeed of 15 to 40 meters per second and a particle speed of 10 to 25 meters per second, as well as low pressure. The air load, or the relation of conveyed material to air, is less than 10 kilograms of material per kilogram of air. Stream phase and plug phase conveying is also called thick stream conveying. For strand phase conveying, the air pushes part of the conveyed material as a stream over the bottom of the pipe at a speed of 10 to 20 meters per second, while single particles fly in the air above. The air load is between 20 and 40 kilograms of material per kilogram of air. With plug phase conveying, the air pushes collected balls, dunes or plugs of collected material at slow speeds but high pressure via the conveying lines. Dilute phase and stream phase conveying can be operated with either pressure or suction, plug phase conveying however, only with pressure. So for suction conveying, the distances of roughly 250 to 300 meters are relatively short, while pressure conveying can transport the material much further, at least in theory. Which factors influence the type of conveying? Which material is used depends, of course, on how much bulk material is required. For abrasive material, for example, plastic with added glass fibers, you'll obviously need sturdy pipes. At least stainless steel, aluminium can't be considered, or glass, for example, or specifically hardened metal. With some planning in advance, one can be sure that everything will arrive on time where it's needed.